Hi, I'm Georgina. I'm 27 years old. I work as an architecture graduate during the week and an artist all other times. And today I'll be answering some questions. Yeah, so I, I just started drawing as a kid like everyone else and I never stopped. And I guess later in life, um, I came across my first set of professional pencils. And I think it was the quality of the media that I was using that really drove me. I have a dog and he drinks loudly. <laughs> now he's eating. <laughs> yeah, so it's more the media that I used that helped me decide what I would be drawing. Um, so I'm a mixed media artist first and foremost, and I don't limit myself with the media that I use. But I think being mixed media means that I don't need to approach what I draw in any single way. I have a whole toolbox to be able to approach drawing any different kind of subject. So while recently I've been doing a lot of moons and keys and um, stuff that kind of teeters between still life, landscape, and um, I guess abstract, there's not really any one uh, subject that I stick to. And I think being a mixed media artist lets me branch out and do any kind of drawing. Um, I guess I just feel like a lot of other artists are draw to be um, like a pull to be drawing things or creating things. And I feel really um, anxious if I haven't been creating and putting stuff down on a page. Mm. So, yeah, I, I need to draw something every single day. Most of the time, I don't actually even share what I draw. I just um, do it in like a morning page in the morning um, along with my gratitude journal. Mm. And it's like a morning ritual and I need to be creating things. Um, yeah, and I'm inspired by just so many things, That's kind of, which actually makes it really difficult to choose what I'm going to draw. This, this is one that was actually started about a year and a half ago at least. Um, I started drawing moons almost like a pushback against all the commercial work I'd been doing a couple of years ago, and I found the commercial work, while I enjoyed it because it was still drawing, it was quite draining and it felt a bit too worldly and human and kind of drawing expensive things people can't afford. Um, I felt like I could be doing more, more to inspire people. And so I went for a long walk and when I came home, I just drew a big circle and I painted the moon on it and I didn't actually film much at all. I had no intention of sharing it, but it ended up being one of the most impactful drawings that I'd done. I think because... The moon is something that we are all familiar with, no matter where you are in the world. It's something very familiar to all of us. And it's also, like, it's literally not worldly. It's something that is greater and further away from all of us that it was such a relaxing thing for me to draw and I think for people to then see. Um, so then I just kept drawing some more, not to try and recreate what I'd done before, but just because the process of doing, like, this is the second moon that I did, the process was really relaxing and therapeutic and I just needed that at that point in my life. Yeah, so as I said before, I work alongside Billy Lamb, an architect here in Brisbane, and Billy's terrific to work with. Our values really align in that he actually cares about the needs of his clients um, to such an extent of detail. So yeah, if you were curious about our work or if you wanted to speak to Billy or myself, just reach out and we'd be happy to help you. And if you're interested in seeing any more of my artwork, it'll be linked below. So this is Muddy, he's my husband's dog. Um, and he was born in Perth and we brought him over to Brisbane with us. And he is a really adorable little studio buddy. 